cooking so good. What is going to be a very crazy 24 hour kitchen transformation? Rental friendly edition. Rental friendly. First up, we got the countertops. These used to be covered in this really pretty white marble wrap, but it was like two years old and a little crusty dusty, so we took it off like two weeks ago. I'm just gonna show you guys the footage. That. Today's the day we're taking off all of the marble wrap. These are the edges, a little crusty, some stains, some cuts. There's a couple of spots where the laminate has like worn away the marble pattern. I'm nervous. Yeah, we told the real estate it would come off very easily. Let's see. Online, they, oh! they make this look really hard online and I don't have any tools. <laughs> oh my god. I think I can do this in like 10 minutes. That was a big piece! Oh, it went under my fingernail. That was good! Yeah. I personally think we've been protecting them. We have ordered some new wrap off of Amazon. Two weeks later. We also want to do a fridge restock. Take the Polaroids off of the fridge because they're so faded. Nothing makes me more satisfied than kitchen organization and a cute kitchen. So this is the vibes that I'm going for, but we have a couple of things to go pick up. So we better go shopping. Should have just ordered this stuff on Amazon. It would have been cheaper, but... <laughs> Off to Target. It wouldn't be a transformation video without a Target trip. <laughs> one thing we do need is some new cups because I've managed to smash every single one, but two. I don't think they have the ones I got last time. Never mind, they actually do have them. But isn't it a sign to not get them just because they broke so easily like I didn't smash them I just clinked them together a little too hard I still feel like we should get them <laughs> oh my god comment below guys what would you do I don't exactly need this however I've wanted one since I was a kid so <laughs> <laughs> as a kid. kid. I don't know what you were like as a kid, but that's kind of weird. No, I wanted these. I but I wanted to smash up like random stuff like Play-Doh. <laughs> Yikes. Did we go to Target and just need to get one thing but come back with way too much? Yes, we did. And another one. Everything I did actually have on my list of things to get for like the last year. I am a big procrastinate shopper, which I think is good because it means that you don't over purchase. I'm feeling holy though, so I'm gonna show you guys everything I got. And I also have this package here that I wanted to show you guys. While I'm in a holy mood, I wanna show you guys some new bits that I got from Startup. Thank you to Startup for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of Startup yet, which I'm sure you guys have, but they're an online thrift store. They help you refresh your closet for less and also give new life to use clothing so you're also helping the planet but one of my favorite things about thread is that you can shop from the comfort of your own home aka my bed <laughs> i got this pair of jeans that were originally from zara they're these like khaki like balloon jean pants it gives off duty model vibes like bella hadid these are so cute another pair of pants that i got are these they could be like i'm gonna go on a tropical vacation and walk around and be so comfortable into a pina coladas kind of vibe these are by Toby Hot Ginger. Estimated retail price on these was $120. I got them for $21. Like what? I think this might be the best part about that. You don't actually know what you're gonna find. So I think I was searching in the dresses section and this is from Aritzia, but it is giving me Skims dress dupe. The estimated retail on the dress was $135 and the thread up price was $29. I feel like I hit the jackpot. I wanted the Skims dress, but I didn't want to buy it because apparently it's see-through. This is actually a sports crop, but I'm gonna wear it as a real crop top. So this is from Aerie. And the best part is I won't have to wear a bra. I got this skirt. I love that she could go under like a little blazer or just like wear it with a regular crop top like the one I just showed you guys. The estimated retail price on this one was $89 I got this for 19 which is insane. Oh, it's even adjustable. You eat lunch that's too big in this and you can just like button it up differently. Okay, I'm not sure that I've ever gotten anything from free people before. This is maybe one of the nicest quality dresses that I own. This is like, I'm on the beach. I'm sipping a glass of rosé. This, Kendall and Kylie top. I'm very good at going back to like styles that I wear over and over again, but this is just in white, so it's really safe. You guys, want to do a little sustainable shopping from the comfort of your own home i'll have that up linked down below for you guys you guys can get 30 percent off your first order and free shipping using the code bets yeah. this outfit that i've just changed into is giving it kim possible vibes which would mean this is run stoppable that is offensive 
because we have so many Polaroids on the fridge. And I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera, but they're super faded. They've been on the fridge for probably two years and then we had them on the wall before that. As much as it's really cute and aesthetic, definitely don't recommend doing this. These are like so many memories and they're all kind of ruins. I don't mind the fridge handles, they're like wearing off. <laughs> Taking all the glue tack off of the fridge is one of those unexpected jobs that you didn't realize would take quite so long. <laughs> My fingers are hurting. So while Kane finishes taking off all the glue tack from the fridge, I thought I would do something a little more fun and show you guys what we got. First up, I got some coasters. I got this dish and these matching soap dispensers to sit on the inside because across the road we have this bulk food store and you can buy like dishwashing soap and hand soap in bulk so you can take your own containers in and fill them up and that way I won't have to buy plastic bottles with dish soap and stuff in it anymore. We got some dark tea towels because no matter what you think, tea towels are gonna get stained. It's better to have dark ones. I got these two containers to put oil in because we store our oil above the stove and I'm really scared that it's gonna fall down and smash the countertop one day. A little candle to light when we're cooking and I got this thing to put my dish rags in so that they're not like sitting all gross in the sink. We're about to start wrapping the countertops however I think it's realistically going to take eight hours. I personally think that it's only going to take three or four hours. Tim, who isn't even helping, <laughs> thinks that it's going to take two hours. Guys, comment down below. How long do you think it's going to take us? We've got this bench, that bench, and then the tiny little area that the toaster is sitting on. By the way, the word bench is just the Australian word for countertop. Here are our tools of choice. We've got a ruler. These little things are to like get the air bubbles out of the wrap, you know? And then we have a hairdryer, which is super, super helpful when you do like the corners around the sink to like stretch it out. Another essential is Kane because he's got all the patience. <laughs> I'm not often speechless, but I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> How are we gonna like put a marker? The first one's rough. That is the dumbest thing <laughs> I've ever had. But let's do it. We already hate each other. <laughs> I did just remember we didn't clean the Daddy <laughs> <laughs> bench top or not, we weren't really trying to go backwards, so we just kept going. Not trying to jinx anything, but this feels a lot easier than last time. Like, I'm not getting any air bubbles. Or maybe Kane was just doing an average job last time, we just didn't realize we need to switch. Guys, it's too easy. It's too easy. I just don't think you guys can see how good this looks. There's a few bubbles, I'm not gonna lie. But last time they did go away after, I don't know, like a month or so, there was like no bubbles anymore. I think the heat got rid of them. This is looking so good. I took over this one little piece here. Have a look at these. I absolutely butchered it. I feel like you were in charge here at this point. Very bubbly. Find a bubble on my side. Find a bubble. Stunning. I'm good at something. I'm not really good at stuff like this normally. <laughs> I know we have one panel done, but I'm not classing starting time until now because that was a practice panel. It's 2.30. I think that we can be done by 4.30. What? Two minutes later. My feet are sore. It's been an hour, and as far as Altair is concerned, we should be halfway done. Underestimated the light switch, underestimated the corner of the bench. Look at that. Doesn't that look good, pal? Yeah, it doesn't feel that good because it took a long time to get to it. <laughs> you're, you're taking me. I'm not doing anything, Kate. You're, you're going to start a fight for no reason. We don't need to fight right now. So we just decided to stop speaking. <laughs> wow, my best friend is impressive. It makes me feel too good, right? This doesn't work, I'm gonna flip out. I'm so over this. I have to change into something a little warmer because Kane is insisting on having the air conditioners on like maximum. The funniest thing is I think I also got this from Donut. <laughs> it's 5.48. We've only done these two side pieces. Haven't done the center, haven't done the edges, haven't done the whole back counter. We are literally so behind. I really didn't realize it was possible for us to be slower than last time we did this two years ago. Apparently we can. I'm losing it. I think I have a questionable set of priorities. The boys are 
<laughs> over in the corner, still oh, wrapping so the countertops, and I am ordering pizza. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm thinking like pepperoni. Ah! Oh. The pizza has arrived. You got the drink. I got that for you. No f way. <laughs> Kane loves this. It's a chocolate malt thick shake and I thought you'd been working so hard in here today I ordered this for Kane because I thought it would make him happy and for some reason he's dispersing it out into three cups Kane stop that's like more in no this is three meat this is pepperoni veggie supreme with vegan meat for Kane and we had to get the garlic bread Ooh. oh my gosh I feel like I've been waiting all day for this mmm that is so good. Pineapple and pizza, y'all. Cash your votes in the comments below. What do you think, Kane? Pizza. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> pineapple. No pineapple. Ow! Hey, let's see. Um, you're done. Uh, All right. You're on so this. I'm on chopping duty. I'm doing the most important job then. Yeah. This baby said that they don't. All righty, we got the first bit on. Now it should be easy from here, right? Nearly losing your print. We'll hang it back up. Okay, you're so good. Thank you, Cal. We're up to our last strip. Yeah. But we thought we'd do a test patch around the sink because you basically have to like shrink wrap it around the sink with a hairdryer. There we go. Almost there. I am so embarrassed to admit this. I thought it was going to take two hours. It's 10.30, exactly <laughs> eight hours, which is what you get. I know. I'm going to sleep. I'm really happy that the kitchen looks clean, <laughs> but it's about the only spot in the entire apartment that actually does. I feel like it's going to take us an hour to clean this. Yeah, we have a lot of cleaning to do. Oh. We just nearly held hands. We're currently doing our little meal plan for the week. This is pretty much what we've got. I mean, we do have chocolate. <laughs> I got given this by my friend Sarah. This is literally... <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, if you're watching this. Thank you for the meal planner. It's very cute. So, we're going to go to the grocery store, and we are being rookies. We're going hungry. Yeah, but there will be a satisfying fridge. I forgot to tell you guys... What was it? Oh, it was just a bottle of wine. We figured out with the chipped handles, we're gonna either paint strip them and then repaint them black, or we're just gonna cover them up in like black, matte black wrap, which I think could be really cool too. In the meantime, if you guys do have any easier ideas, please let me know. It is 11 o'clock. We've got until 2.30 if we wanna do this in under 24 hours, and I think we could do it. So get your stuff ready, cause we're leaving. We're almost at the grocery store, which <laughs> never ends well when we go together, cause someone is hungry. an overspender. Yeah, and I'm always hungry in it. Ooh. Tell me why the vegetarian is looking at the fish section. Like, what What did you find over there? There was a big fish. These are the kind of questions that I have every single day. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's going through this boy's brain. Not vegetarianism. <laughs> no. I never really get these kind of carrots, but Kane is insisting that they taste better. So here we are. And an obligatory stop at the plant-based meat section. You're going to make a roast by yourself. <laughs> oh, these are so good, guys. Garlic Kiev. They actually taste like real chicken. We are acquiring the plant-based roast, which is very funny because this boy does not ever cook anything like this, but he's going to meal prep it, he said. Sarah's got to make room for a favorite thing. 40% off. It would be rude not to. Oh, and look at that. She's getting another one. <laughs> I can feel groceries getting more expensive. Like every single time I go to the grocery store, I feel like I'm more conscious to make my shop cheaper, but somehow it is more expensive every single time. Inflation, y'all. We got these pastas, they were on sale and they're both vegetarian. We got the sparkling water. My like treats out of here are probably brie cheese. And then I got these baby bell cheeses. I don't normally get this stuff, but y'all, I went through a phase with these recently. So I just got some while they were on special. Colby is good for melting. And this one is so good to eat on like sandwiches and crackers. Avocado oil. I used to cook with this all the time because it doesn't burn as quickly as olive oil does. Going through a yogurt phase, I don't normally get protein yogurt, but this one was the one that was on sale. And then we have a really busy week this week i'm not really drinking rosé as much recently but like once we get all the busyness done i kind of want to celebrate and it's only one or seven guys so i think we're gonna get it done
Okay, I've cleaned out all the acrylic containers. Honestly, the acrylic containers, they don't serve much of a purpose other than being aesthetic. I have this super dumb theory that <laughs> with the acrylic containers, if my fridge looks super nice and aesthetic, I feel more obliged to eat from home and not want to take out. I feel like there's drama on TikTok right now about people thinking it's stupid to take your eggs out of one container and put them into another one, but it makes me happy, okay? You know how many eggs you've got left because it's see-through. I feel like a lot of the fridges that I see like on Pinterest and stuff, they just don't look realistic. They don't even look like they've got real food in them. And I'm like, are you gonna eat all that or is half of that kale gonna go all crusty and disgusting? This is a little embarrassing, but I'm very excited about these. Hand soap, dish soap, and then I wanna put baby soap in this one, which I know that probably sounds a bit weird, but I have been washing my beauty blender with baby soap for the longest time, baby shampoo. I saw something about it online and it's so much cheaper than using beauty blender cleaner and i'm also not trying to wash it with real soap because i don't want to like mess my skin up like i said yesterday i really wanted to start filling these up at the bulk store because i think that that would be way better less plastic and also i feel like it would be cheaper although sometimes those stores are kind of expensive it'll be like organic dish soap 40 dollars a kilogram or something a kilogram a liter oh my gosh how much space is in there <laughs> Kane knew it. He was sitting there watching me waiting for it to happen. I am enjoying this too much. Last one is baby soap. <laughs> so watching. I did end up making the little labels. We just wanted to do four letter words so that they're not huge and all different sizes. Look how organized you are, pal. I am. I'm shaking. We have Five minutes left. Sarah has spent the last 45 minutes on this. <laughs> I made a mess and then I made labels. <laughs> There's only a select few people that would get satisfaction from this, but if you're one of those people, let me know. This is the crusty one that we're replacing. It's an upgrade. It is not the 25th hour yet. We are still on our 24th hour, so technically we managed to do it. It's currently 2.59 p.m. I'm proud of that. Thanks again to Third Up for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys check the, check, check the link down below. And you guys can get 30% off your first order on Third Up and free shipping when you use the code BETS. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. I did it. Oh. <laughs>